Hey everyone, um, Alan here, just bringing you a quick video with um, instructions on how to do specific exercises as it was one of the things that came up in our feedback forms. So the exercise I'm going to show you how to do today is the plank. Um, sometimes you'll see me refer to it as a pillar bridge either. So the plank is essentially a core exercise. Um, it's going to be working everything from our hips to our shoulders. It's going to develop strength in this area but also stability too. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it, how to do it, regress it to make it easier and how to progress it to make it harder too. Okay, so set up position for the perfect plank is as follows. We're just going to lean down, pop elbows under shoulders. Once we're down in this position, just straighten out our legs. And we're just going to hold this straight position. So we should be in a straight line from head to heel. If someone wants to push me from either side, I should be able to stay rigid and stay stable in this position. Okay, so now I'll just show two positions that most people end up in, which is two of the most common areas people make a mistake with the plank. First position is people have their hips up too high here, okay? So they're trying to take the focus off their core, let their arms and legs do more of the work, which is compensating for having a weak core. Other position is when people are down too low um, with extension in their back. Here's a simple way to regress the plank um, so you can make it easier for yourself. Use an elevated surface, so a chair, table, box, anything you can at all. Exact same position, straight from head to heel. It's just going to take a bit of pressure off your um, core and allow you to build up the strength as you progress. So once you're comfortable with the plank and you can do it for uh, an extended amount of time, um, these are the progressions that I prefer for making it that bit more difficult. So start up position is the exact same but what you're going to do is lift one arm out so you're only going to have three pillars other arm out one leg up in the air what you can also do is one leg and one arm and hold that position that's going to challenge you in a few different ways make that a lot harder than the uh, than the original plank 